This program is brought to you by Fast Signs of Durango. More than fast, more than signs. Fast Signs. Come on. Let's go to work. That's farmer Tyler Wilbanks calling in his horses for a day of work on his small farm just north of Mancus off Colorado Highway 184. Wilbanks is a fourth generation Montezuma County resident who lives the life of a 21st century millennial with his truck and his cell phone. But as a farmer, his methods are strictly 19th century. That's because he and his wife April use Clydesdales for everything they do on their Rocky Draw farm. From logging in winter to hang in summer, their horses power their farming operation. Workhorses, it's always been a thing. When I was about eight years old, I actually started plowing people's gardens with a little mule. Um, I kind of grew up around it. My grandparents used them. So my grandparents coached me on how to handle it. And then I used to go around and, uh, and I actually used to uh, plow people's gardens for like $75. And so, it, that's kind of how I got into them and it just, it gets in the blood. I always say draft horses are more addicting than drugs. So, um, and I kind of fell into the Clydesdales. I never thought I'd like them. Um, they're kind of a showy horse. They really, you know, we were always a, under the assumption they wouldn't be good for farm work. I used to use Percherins and I farmed with them and I used to use mules, and I used to run Belgians. And the Belgians, uh, they would, they were, they're good horses, but they're really expensive now. They're running upwards, you know, to $14,000 for a good team of Belgians. And we got that Clyde, and I fell in love with her because she's so mild disposition and quiet and just a steady worker. And so we ended up, um, kind of uh, uh, just really falling in love and using them. And I ended up buying her, this D here, and D had a colt on her side and one in her stomach. And so and that's kind of how we got with the Clydesdales. And, and you know, they're, they're um, a little different. They're a lot leggier than, than I'm kind of used to, but I kind of actually like how fast they walk out. You can get a lot of country, you know, tra traveled with them, they farm. I can move about three and a half mile an hour, pulling a hay mower and about four mile an hour with a, with a hay rake. And they're good steady horses. And once you get them conditioned, I noticed they're kind of, they take a little longer to condition, it seems like, to get them really in good shape. But um, once they're in shape, they're just, they're just good leggy, fast walking horses. It's two living creatures, you know, um, trying to get an, a task accomplished. And, and it's really fun to take something that has a, an, their own opinion and feelings. And, you know, they have a work ethic like you that wants, you know, to get production done. And, and actually, I think they, they have a feeling at the end of the day of, of some self-accomplishment. You know, I mean, they, you can tell, like, when you're heading heading out of a field or you're moving into a new field, you know, and you start mowing it and laying it down or you start plowing ground, they just have this, this feeling that they're excited to do the job, they're happy to do it, and, and um, they're giving it all they have for you. And that's something neat to have an animal sacrificing its flesh and its, its, its body, kind of, for your, your needs. It makes you kind of feel like you're pretty lucky and you're, you're special, you know to have a creature that's doing that for you. It's one of those things you're learning every day. Um, I talk to guys that's been driving, you know, they're in their late 80s and they've been driving and working horses and farming and, and you ask them, you know, how long did it take to get it figured out? And they say, well, I'll let you know when I die. You know, you'll never get it figured out. Um, it's one of those things, every day is a new learning experience. You do start to develop a, a friendship and, and, you know, kind of, uh, kinship with them when they're actually trying to uh, accomplish the task with you and and you you know it's like working with someone that you know and you become a good friend with them it, it's just a partner 
If you'd like to know more about Bell and Dee and the work they perform, you can contact the Wilbanks through their website at rockydrawfarm.com.